If you want to learn how to create super minimal logo designs that have a lot of meaning, just like this one, then keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. I post every Wednesday and Sunday and I talk about graphic design in all of my videos. I'm a graphic design business owner and I've been designing for about eight years. So I feel like I've learned so much over the years. I'm continuing to learn and I love to just take you guys along my journey and share all the things I learn, all the things I love to implement in my own business and my own world. So thank you guys so much for coming to this video. I'm super excited to break down logo designs today and talk about minimal and simple logos and how to really nail that down. I feel like minimal kind of has this idea of like not a lot involved in it, but there's actually a lot of strategy, a lot of things that go behind a minimal logo. And I really just wanted to break down what minimal even means. I feel like that word is thrown around so much, but minimal to me basically means a logo that has very, very simple elements, simple touches, is using a monochromatic color palette and possibly only uses colors as accents and small touches. And something that just really represents something in a very, very simple way, but that simple way has so much meaning and so much, you know, it's really timeless, has a lot of depth to it. I feel like it's really hard to explain what a minimal logo is, and I feel like a lot of design is so intuitive, knowing that when you're looking at something that's either modern or minimal or simple, everyone has their own perspectives and their own, you know, visions of the world so it's really hard to explain what the difference is between these things but in my opinion that is what kind of makes up a minimal minimal logo or a minimal element or mark for a brand so i'm super excited to kind of jump into how i create these and show you guys behind the scenes of how i make a minimal logo and some of the things i like to keep in mind when i am doing this and i feel like just off the top of my head, one of the things I like to keep in mind when making a minimal logo is how can I represent or show the deep meaning of my client's brand through a simple drawing or a simple typography or something that just slightly shows the deep meaning behind why they even created their business. So when you really think about it, that is a lot of work and that takes a lot of experience and a lot of strategy and a lot of time to create something like that. So little uh, hint right there to make sure you're charging what you're worth because this is quite an art. So without further ado, let's hop on over to my computer and I'm going to talk you guys through how I'm kind of thinking through a minimal logo design that I'm going to be creating with you all. So let's hop to it. I want to show you how to do like a super minimal typography based logo. So this logo is not going to have many elements in it, not many drawings, but it's so crazy how using a beautiful font and manipulating it a little bit and just adding your own touch can create a really beautiful, luxurious looking brand. So I'm using my own brand name as an example for this. And I did go find a demo font, which I will show you guys where I find some good demo fonts, defontfree.co. They have really good demo fonts. So if you wanna like play around with fonts before you purchase. I definitely recommend checking this website out. It has a lot of ads. It's not the like, best website, but they do have really pretty fonts in here. Um, so I recommend checking it out. Um, but this is what I've been using to find those fonts to play with. So I did already download. This one's really pretty too, actually. Let me look at that. Um, so... Yeah, this one's really pretty, but I found the font that I want to use uh, before I get distracted there. So this is the font that I really like, and I'm going to play around with um, just making this look really modern and beautiful. Um, so there's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to show you a great way to just manipulate it um, and overlap them so that it creates like a really awesome symbol. So I have my fonts. I'm going to just duplicate it by copying it down. And I'm actually going to create outlines so it's easier to work with the text and a little bit easier to manipulate. And I'm going to bring this one up so it's out of my way. And okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom into this letter here. And what we are going to want to do is hit A on the keyboard. 
and we're gonna drag to select just the bottom half of the letter. And I'm actually going to do that again, but I wanna place it where I want it within the letter. So you can align them by putting them on top of each other and selecting this as a key object and aligning it. But I think I'm gonna want it maybe up a little bit farther, something like that. And now I'm actually going to lock this layer by hitting Command A, or sorry, what is it, Command 2? And so now this is locked, so I'll be able to play around with this without affecting the M. So I'm gonna click on this letter, and I'm actually gonna now do A on the keyboard, and I'm gonna drag my mouse across the bottom of this W. So now I can select any part of, um, let me do that again. So I'm gonna hit A, drag. So now I can select any part of these blue letters, or the blue dots right here. As you can see, these ones have like an outlined dot and this is a fully closed colored dot. Hit Command 2 to lock that, A, drag, and we can just pull this down. You can hold Shift to make sure that you're doing it straight. And as you can see, some of my lines are not matching up perfect. So you can kind of like play around with getting that to look nice, but we can always fix that later too. Okay, so now that is as tall as I was hoping to get it. Um, and we can also play around with the width of it by holding down Option and kind of increasing it and decreasing the size. So I think I want to do maybe a little wider like that. I like that. Okay, so now that we have this on top, I'm going to fix the lines right here just so they match up with each other. Um, so let's go over to the direct selection tool and you can just like make it wider by doing this. And you just want to make sure that they look as consistent as they can. And I know the lines are not exactly the same, but the more consistent it looks, the more designed and beautiful it's going to look. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, I think that should work for now. Directly in the middle of the letter, I'm also going to show you how to make it look cut out from the letter. So I'm going to copy it over. We're going to want to unlock the M so I can do that. Copy it over and now we're going to highlight both letters and go to file and we're going to go to object path offset path and let's decrease this a little bit I think I think two or one will be good let's try let's try two and see how that looks and then I'm going to highlight both letters again just by dragging my cursor across and now I'm going to go over to the Shape Builder tool and I'm going to delete the parts of the letter that I don't want in there. But you have to hold Option as you click on these parts of the letter that you don't want to show. And sometimes it gets confusing with all the lines. You can always like make one letter a certain color. Um, that way you can really see clearly which letter you are deleting and not um, if that's going to help you out too. Okay, so that did create a curve here, but that might look cool. So now let's click out of it and zoom out. So as you can see, it did kind of cut everything out, but I'm not crazy about how that kind of curved there. But that is a nice way to kind of make it look like an emblem or a symbol. So I wanted to show you guys that option of manipulating typography to make it look really minimal, really luxurious and simple. Um, but yeah, you really have to play around with the offset path and make sure that all the lines are looking good. We can actually build off of this and continue creating some variations of it. So I'm gonna copy this over. We can even just use the eraser tool. So I'm going to go over to my eraser, drag it. And we wanna make sure that we don't delete too much of that side of the M. So like that, and I'm gonna show you how you can use the scissor tool to delete this specific part. 
you just click on the different um, anchor points. And make sure you delete those lines by just double clicking in there. Okay, so I'm actually gonna bring out the M right here to kind of just like give the logo a little more depth to it. Okay, now let's actually flip it. So let's say reflect and we can try playing around with this instead. So let's bring that W away or the other W away and let's make this a little bit bigger. That's kind of what I'm doing. Let's actually do one where it mirrors each other duplicated it and rotated it this way yeah that does look kind of cool something like that and then we could even put it in an emblem like this and to round the corners of this you would just drag all of them oops you don't want to just singly click that one you're just going to want to drag them both like that and then let's create an outline and let's actually see what that looks like inside Cause it takes, I like how abstract it is cause you'd really have to think about like what this even is and it's an MW. Um, so I really do kind of like the abstractness of it. And we could even do a little bit of manipulation here by bringing this down so it is differentiated from the M. I mean, it's kind of a unique symbol if you did want to use it, but I'm um, just kind of showing you how you can take the typography and really make it something unique. Okay, so there's an option. Um, I definitely like, I'm actually gonna try one too where I take the two letters and remove that part of the M um, or even remove this part of the W and see how that looks. So let's just make sure they're perfectly aligned with each other. You can kind of zoom in to see better. Okay, and I want to have them close enough where I'm just going to remove this part of the W. So I'm gonna say create outlines and I'm going to select my scissor tool. And we're just gonna wanna do a direct line down like that. So now let's double click this layer here and delete it. And now we have a very like interesting MW. Um, so we can bring that closer if we wanted to. Um, I'm not sure. That kind of looks more like a V, so we'll have to play around with that. But let's even try doing it with the M deleted on one side. So let's get them aligned again. Okay, now let's create outline for the M. And we are going to just basically delete this entire part of the M. Actually, we'll delete up until like this point here. That way it can still have part of the M so it's not, doesn't look like it's a completely different letter. It might even look cool if we connect them a little bit and remove this so it's like a curve. So let's actually try that. So I'm actually gonna make this a little opaque so I can see exactly where this line is. We click on this letter and we will just click here click here and now we can delete um, should be able to delete that part of the M but we're gonna want to create outline for the W here and we're also gonna lock it by hitting command 2 and now we can delete that part and let's drag this over actually I need to bring it back let's make sure this is aligned at the bottom by double clicking each layer, making this the key object and aligning it towards the bottom. And now I'm going to zoom in to the W here, the very corner, and we're going to bring this up by hitting that direct selection. And we can even curve just the specific part of the letter by bringing that little dot all the way down. Okay, now we're going to want to bring this opacity up so we can really see how this looks. I'm playing around with, um, but we could technically have made this part of the M, that part of the W, uh, but that just would take some messing around with and stuff. But these do look kind of cool. It's definitely like a nice little symbol to use, um, and that's kind of how you can connect them and make them their own unique symbol. Um, so. 
that was another couple options for a simple minimal logo design um but i wanted to show you guys kind of how this looks and when you're looking at it just black and white it's hard to really tell how it looks so i do recommend mocking it up looking at it on like packaging on a business card things like that just so we can really see how that looks that is some ideas of how you can manipulate your typography you can cut them through the letters you can overlap them you can mirror them um, so I wanted to show you guys some options. I know this was like really quick, really simple ideas for it, but I wanted to show you how simple a really powerful logo can be. So I really hope that was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.